Well, hello, Miguel. Hello, Alex. Thank you for Hello, the good evening, quality people. to the class. Thank you for being punctual to the class. I do really appreciate that. Okay. Thank good you evening. For being here. Alex, welcome. Alex connected at 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. <laughs> so thank you very much for your punctuality. Thank you as well, Miguel. Miguel, you're with a new look, right? <laughs> yes, teacher. Yeah, you I have a new look. look. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, welcome for being here and welcome and thank you for being here. I'm just going to send a message to your classmates because I they haven't connected yet and I didn't need them to connect. Just give me a second. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Milton. Thank you for being here. Okay, perfect. I sent the message already. Okay, perfect. How are you? You're doing good? You're happy because we're about to finish in one, two, yeah, three more classes with today and then Wednesday and then Thursday and then we're done. I thought I was go I was not going to be able to teach the class because it started to rain here in Osulutan a little bit and there were some thunders and lightnings, but then everything calmed down. So yeah, we're fine now. I thought I wasn't going to be able because if the power went out, if power, I don't know, the, the, the internet failed. So I wasn't gonna be able to be here, but I'm here, thank God, because we need to finish um, on Thursday. Okay, so today we have, as well as yesterday, some pronunciations practice, just like really quick pronunciation practice with the tongue twister. Then after the tongue twister, we have some conversations and also we are going to discuss some idioms because even though I send you the video about the idioms, I think you're still missing on some idioms and I'm gonna explain some idioms to you today. For example, feeling under the weather. Do you know the meaning of feeling under the weather? What's under the weather? Today, I feel under the weather. First of all, do you know the meaning of the word weather? No, you don't know what is weather? Yes, teacher. What is weather, Marielos? Welcome. Thank you, uh, Lima. Exactly. So feeling under the weather, what do you think it is? It's when I feel sick. Okay, I feel sick and I say, I feel under the weather. So we're gonna be learning a little bit more about that today because I know um, maybe you didn't watch the video that I sent, but yeah, we're gonna be discussing that. Uh, yes, like Milton did it already, please send the date to the chat because we always start with that. Okay. So I only have Milton and I only have Marielos, okay? Only Milton and Marielos have seen it. Okay, yeah, now I have Alex. 
Oh, and some tips. Yeah, I, I, I was thinking sometimes we need some tips uh, to improve our pronunciation maybe. And I'm, I'm just gonna tell you this. When you are in advanced levels, you get to see some grammar topics and some difficult grammar topics actually. But what is more important is for you to practice speaking, pronunciation, okay? So basically what you're going to have is a lot of topics when you can speak or you can talk. And then with those topics, you will have the chance to improve your pronunciation. Because what we really want in advanced levels is for you to speak, not the teacher, it's you. You are the ones who need to speak, okay? Now, um, thank you for sending the date, guys, to the ones who sent the date. Thank you very much for that. Now, so sometimes we have words like this. Wait. Sometimes we have words, words like walk, talk, would, could. Okay. So in this case, there is a rule or not a rule. Like in pronunciation, you will see it. In words like this, we don't, wait a second, guys. Okay, so we don't say the letter L. For example, with the verb walk, we don't say walk. You say, like, you see, I don't say walk, me walk, is walk. I walk every day. With the verb talk, is I talk to you. I'm talking right now. It's not talk, 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 no, talk. Then again with would, would is like that, would. Did we learn the, don't we said how much would, would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck would chuck wood? Yeah? Did we learn it? Did we study that word? Hey guys, did we, did we study that don't we say? At least send me uh, like a yes teacher. Yes, we did, or no, we didn't. You can do the reactions there. I think the reactions are. This is yes. Okay. So did you, how much would that tongue twister, is a tongue twister? Did we learn it? No? Okay, but there's a tongue twister that is how much wood would a wood chuck chuck if a wood chuck would chuck wood. In that tongue twister, the word wood, as in madera in Spanish, and wood, they sound almost the same because we don't say the letter L. We don't say it. Wood, wood. Then we have this other one, could, could. So if you do these when speaking in English, you're gonna sound a little bit more native. Your pronunciation is gonna be better. But if you say, I walk every day, that is incorrect. Because first I say, I walk, and then I say every day. Now, there's another thing that I need you to understand. This is just like pronunciation tips, pronunciation advices. The pronunciation with the letter V, V. I think I told you, I don't know if I, <clears throat> if I did, but I'm gonna explain it again. When we speak in English, it's not like in Spanish, because in Spanish we say, <clears throat> sorry. In Spanish we say, uh, the vaca and burro, they are almost pronounced the same, vaca, burro. But in English, there is a difference between the letter B and the letter V, okay? The difference is small, but in this case, we call this one the B labial. I only use my lips, B, B. And then we have the other one that is B, V labio dental. So what I do when I say that letter is V, V. Even the pronunciation in a whole word for example, every day, okay? That example right there. I said, 
I don't say every day. It's not every day. It's every day. You see, the pronunciation is different because I'm using the V sound, not the B sound. V, V. Okay, B, V. Now, every day, everybody, event. Mm, let's think about another. Uh, volleyball, volleyball. In the first one I'm using V and the second one B. Volleyball, you see? Volleyball. That, that's a good word to practice the pronunciation of both of them, I think. Volley, ball. Volley, ball. Volley, ball. So if I say, I love you, that is incorrect. I don't know. It's I love you. No, I love you. You see? From the end of the word, love you. Then I continue with you. And the pronunciation of the letter V, it needs to be there. With those two pronunciation tips that I'm giving you right now, the L and the V sound, you're gonna tone a little bit more native. Your pronunciation is gonna be better when you're speaking in English. Then again, when we say words like this, walk, talk, would, could, then those words, they don't, we don't say the letter L, don't say the letter L. Then in words when we have the V, the v we're gonna say video. That's why it's video and no video. You see, it's a big difference there. Video, incorrect. Video, video, video. Okay, next one. And this one, uh, um, vector, no. And let me think about another one. V, v. Village, 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 okay? So when you, I need you to do that pronunciation because many, many, many people, they don't like to do the V sound, even though without you're gonna sound more native when speaking. So please, if you can, try to practice that. And then the word that I told you, the one that we can, wait a second. Volleyball. Okay, with this one, you can do the pronunciation of the different V's. So this one is the V, V sound. And this one right here is the B sound. So volleyball, 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 okay? Volleyball. Volleyball, volleyball. Sometimes I think when we say the letter V, actually we do like the F. You see F, F, when we say F in Spanish, like look at this, look at the, the mouth position. I, I always think it's the same. Feo, video. You see? Fácil. Volleyball, facile, volleyball. You see? Can you see it or you don't see it? I don't see it, teacher. Repeat, please. Like the letter F in Spanish, the way we put the mouth, like the place, how we place the mouth, okay? That way, when we do that, it's the same as like when we say the letter V in English. Again, facile. Like, look, facile. Facile. Then, video. Facile, video. You see it? Fa, fa, V, V. Yeah, you see it or you don't see it? The only difference is like with the V sound, we do like a little bit of a vibration. V, 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 it's right here, V, V. So if you see, 
if I put the, the microphone here, is because the, there's the vibration. V. V. Not here. Here is the V. 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 Yeah, it's there. So you have to do it. But it's very similar to the F. V. 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 So try to do that practice maybe, and it's going to help you with pronunciation. Okay? Yeah? And I have a question. Who is this guy that says the Bar Antonio? Maybe send your name to the to the chat, please, here. So I, I understand who you are and how I can refer to you. Okay. We are still practicing the pronunciation of the B sound, actually. So I'm going to share this with you. You already know how to do it, but now I need you to go fast. I need you to practice this. Very good. Very good. Very good. No, very good. You see? <laughs> Here's an example. If I say very good, it's like I'm saying very bad a bit of butter, right? Very. But it's not very. It's very. Very good. Very good. Very. Very but a bit of butter, very good. There's a difference, right? If you're saying, yeah, I feel very good. Like in Spanish, you're saying, yo me siento Betty bien. No, you're not saying that. You're saying, muy bien. So very good. Very good and very good. Porque le estamos hablando de una señora que se llama Betty. Betty, no? It's very good. Very good. Okay, so there's the difference. You can see it. If you don't say it exactly, if you don't say it correctly, then maybe you're saying something else that you don't want to say, right? Hoy me siento Betty bien. Very good is Betty bien. <laughs> but if we say very good, muy bien. Okay, very good. Like that, very good, very good. Very good. Just imagine you have a pen in your mouth. Very good. <laughs> Don't say it. Very good. Right? Very good. Very good. Like that. It's going to be, it's going to help you. Okay. So, very, not like very, right? Very, but a bit of butter, but the butter, very, but was bitter. So, very, but a bit of butter, and it was better done the butter very bad before. Now, because you are advanced, I need you to go like very bad a bit of butter, but the butter very bad was bitter, so very bad a bit of butter, and it was better than the butter very bad before. That's what I need you to do. And do it a lot of times, like do it, do it, do it. Because guys, when I do this for you, it's like, I'm giving you the training, the perfect training. And when you do it only one, two, three, four times, that's not gonna help you. You have to do repetitions. You have to do it a lot. So, very but a bit of butter, but the butter, very but was bitter, so very but a bit of butter, and it was better than the butter, very but before. Very but a bit of butter, but the butter, very but was bitter, so very but a butter, it was better than the butter, very but before. Very but a bit of butter, but the butter, very but was bitter, so very but a bit of butter, and it was better than the butter, very but before. Many times. And then, right now, it's going to start hurting. This right here, for me, I don't know for you guys, but for me, this is what starts hurting. I feel pain here. And it's because my pronunciation is getting better. Wait a second. What is, I have a problem with my internet. Okay. Well, are you ready? So what I need you to do is do that, please. Pretty but a bit of butter, but the butter, pretty but was better. So pretty but a bit of butter, and it was better than the butter, but the before. As many times as you can, okay? As many times, as many times, as many times as you can. Why? Why we're going to do this? Because I need you to improve your pronunciation. It's not me. It's you guys. It's you, the ones that need to improve the pronunciation. So say it. Say it. Say it once, twice, three times, four times, five, six, seven, eight times. As many times as it's possible. Okay? 
I'm going to give you some minutes to practice that. And then when we come back, I'm going to go, oh, wait a second, with the conversation I told you and the idioms that we're going to use in English. That, that is going to help us to sound more native when speaking. And oh, some other advice for pronunciation. Because now, guys, you know a lot of grammar. That's what you know. What you need to improve is pronunciation, right? And fluency, fluency when speaking. Not thinking in Spanish, then translating into English and then speaking in English. And if someone says something in English, I think in the, the information comes to my mind in English, then I translate it in my mind, and then I understand what the person is saying. So I don't, I don't want you to do that process. And you can get rid of it because I don't think about like how to say something in Spanish anymore. I just think like, oh yeah, this is how I say it in English. And sometimes when you do that, that I, when you do that a lot, it's gonna happen that you forget how to say something in Spanish because you say it a lot in English that when you have to say it in Spanish, you're like, yeah, I know what it means but I don't remember <laughs> because I mostly use that word in English, not in Spanish. For example, I don't know if this has happened to you. I said, um, freak out. Do you know what is the meaning of freak out? That is a phrasal verb. Do you know the meaning of freak out? No? Freak out in Spanish means like estresarse por algo, like afligirse, like freak out. I don't know, let me freak out. Spanish, there is not a translation. Asustarse, like asustarse. Yeah. Yeah, freak out is like asustarse, like I freak out. When I was using that word, but not asustarse because it's not to be scared. I am scared is different. It's a different kind of asustarse. Asustarse not like in a scary movie, asustarse like, um, está temblando y I freak out. O yo quería hablar con esa persona, but I freak out. Entonces, yo usaba tanto la palabra, I use a lot of the freak out, freak out, freak out, freak out, that I forgot how to say it in Spanish. Then I, me, myself, my own language, I created friqueando. Yeah. Like, yeah, like um, some people say it also, but I have heard a lot of people say like friqueando. And it's, ah, estoy friqueando. What it means, like I, I'm freaking out. It means that I'm scared that something is happening. I'm like, oh, I don't know what to do. So what? One time I was like, yeah, friqueando, estoy friqueando. And then someone asked, what is friqueando? What are you trying to say? And I'm like, eh, I'm trying to say that I'm friqueando. And I didn't know how to explain that in Spanish. And sometimes people think, oh, you speak English. You, you think that, I don't know, maybe you say that because you don't want to speak in Spanish. Oh, te estás olvidando el español, ¿verdad? Se te olvidó, ¿verdad? Que bueno, se qué. And people are like that. I don't know why they are like that. But we don't, I don't forget the words because I want to. It just happens. In my mind, it just happens. So that's something that is going to happen to you when you stop. Well, maybe it already happened to you. But when you stop thinking in Spanish, then these things are going to happen. Then you're not going to be in, the, in your mind like, how do I say this? How do I translate this? What is she saying? That is going to stop. And that's what I want and what English Corporativo and the, this level wants for you for the advanced level because you are advanced students now. Okay. Let's go and practice a little bit and then we, we go, then we come back. Remember, practice, practice, practice it, until it hurts, until it hurts. It has to hurt. No pain, no gain.
Boris.
Hello? So how do you feel? Do you feel like you practice? Like this hurt? It's good. It's good, teacher. Okay. It's good. And did it hurt? Si dolió? No? It didn't? No? Because if nope. it didn't hurt, you didn't do it good. <laughs> it has to hurt. Like they say in the gym, no pain, no gain. <laughs> so no if pain, it hurts, no, no, no pain, no gain. So you have to practice oh. for it to be good. Wait a second. <laughs> No pain, no gain. Yeah, no pain, no gain. Sorry, sorry about that. that I had something to do. Okay, no pain, no gain. Now, we're, I'm going to show you some idioms in English, like the first one that I was telling you, like feeling under the weather. Okay. What is feeling under the weather again? Feeling sick. Okay. Feeling sick. For example, I have a flu. Mm, today I feel under the weather. I didn't sleep enough yesterday. I'm feeling under the weather. I have COVID. <laughs> I'm feeling under the weather, right? I, I, I had a had, had, headache. Had a headache. Yeah. yeah. So I'm feeling, and you can say generally, I'm feeling under the weather. And then the person is going to ask, what do you feel? I have a headache. Right? But to say I'm sick, instead of saying today I'm feeling sick, don't say that. Just say mm, today I feel under the weather. Okay? That's gonna sound more native with speaking. Then we have other ones. Look at this. Yeah, I showed you already. Well, if you see it, good. If you didn't, okay. The ball is in your court. What do you think is the meaning? I don't know, it's court. Court is like a field, but for example, when you're playing tennis, you play tennis in a court. I don't know if you get me. Hmm? I don't know, do you get it? Like field, mm. for example, the soccer field is where they play football or the soccer, right? Then the tennis court is where they play tennis, like the field where they play, play tennis. You get it, okay. no? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the ball is in your court. What do you think is the meaning? It's your turn, maybe? It's your turn. Well, that's a good start. That's a good start, yeah. What else do you think it means? Mm. It's a good start, just that. Or you have the decision. It's on you, right? Like the pen of the day. The ball is in your court. Like it's not my problem anymore. It's up to you. It's your decision. Okay. The ball is in your court, right? That's what I say when it's. Like, like Mariela said, it's the turno, right? It's your turn. Is this idiom refers to the... Is... Soltar la sopa. No, no, no. Well, spill the beans. Spill the beans? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what it means. Yeah. Like, a secret. When you reveal a secret, yeah, that's spill the beans. And it has an equivalent in Spanish, right? Like, soltar la sopa. Now, break a leg. I already told you what is the meaning of break a leg. It's uh, a... Luck. 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 Good luck for luck. Yes, it's true. It's for good luck. When you wish someone, hey, break a leg today. <laughs> that, yeah, you're saying to this person that, you, uh, that you want them to be, to, to be successful, that you want them to have luck in everything they are doing. Okay, now let's do some other ones. Wait a second. I'm just gonna cover this and I'm gonna cover this. Okay. 
Perfect. Now here. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, here, we're here. Pull someone's leg. Pull. Do you know the meaning of pull? Pull. Yes. The door. Is... The door push. Push and pull. Have... pull. No. The push, door. The door. Pull. At the door. Uh, okay. A lot. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Push is the other one. Pull is the other one. Okay. Now, pull someone's leg. Pull someone's leg. Like cuando alguien se muere, le <laughs> Pull someone's leg. What do you think is the meaning of pull someone's leg? Falleció. <laughs> it's not, it's pull. not a literal meaning. <laughs> eh, de, de ver algo. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. What else do you think? Nobody else? Nothing else? When you're joking, mm. right? Oh, a present perfect, but it's a romance. Pull Post their leg. And for the we wind someone up. So like an extremo. Um, relax. I'm just pulling your leg, right? Like, Take it easy. I'm just teasing you, right? No, it's not. It's not serious. I'm just pulling your leg, right? Something like that. I don't think there is an equivalent in Spanish. Do you think there's one? I don't think there's one. Well, next one. Sat on the fence. Sat is the pass of seat. Seat, and the fence is what. Fence is a cerca. Exactly. Yeah. So someone is, well, saying this is, oh my goodness, no look over Oh my God. <laughs> Sat on the fence. <laughs> Teacher, for, for eggs, and it's good. <laughs> Isn't it good? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, sending the seat. So yeah, sat on the fence. Yeah, so I'm sitting on the fence. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I'm sitting on the fence, right? Down la banga significa que uno toma una decisión de algo. I'm here on the fence about how yoga classes. Like I'm, I don't know. I'm on the fence about going to the next level, advanced English, right? Next one, the through thick and thin. Through, it's what is through? Verdadero. Mm -hmm. What is it? Atravesar. Exactly. Thick, what is thick? These are opposites. These are opposites. Thick and thin, they are adjectives and they are opposite adjectives. It's como grueso, delgado. Exactly. Delgado. Through thick and thin. What is the meaning of through thick and thin? It's when you marry the las buenas y las malas. Like in the buenas and las malas? Exactly. Yeah. Wow, Miguel, good job. That's what it means. That is exactly what it means. To be there, it doesn't matter what, right? To be there for the other person through thick and thin. So let's go back here. We have the ball is in your core. Spill the beans. Break a leg, pull someone's leg, someone's sat on feet. the fence, through thick and thin, right? Okay. Now, with these things, we can speak a little bit more fluent or like some more native when speaking. So instead of saying, hey, I'm gonna be here for you in the good and in the bad and everything. You say, I'm gonna be there for you through thick and Thin. That's more native, right? When speaking, that's more native. Perfect. And instead of saying, hey, I'm joking, I'm it, it's just uh, it's I'm just teasing, teasing you. It's just I'm just kidding. Instead of saying that, you say, I'm pulling your leg. Don't worry, it's not serious. I'm just pulling your leg, right? 
tomar el pelo, that will be an equivalent to Spanish? No, I don't know. I don't know if that will be one. Me went tomaron el pelo. No, that's like estafar a alguien, something like that. I don't know. Okay, let's watch this. Ready to keep on learning? Great. Pay attention to the use of tough questions for opinions. Health insurance, child care bills, rent. Now that I'm going to school and only working part time, I have a hard time making ends meet. Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah. My company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And child care isn't cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. So here in the conversation, what we can see is the following. Actually, there is an idiom right here. Okay, make ends meet that. Hard to make ends meet. That means like, it's difficult to get enough money to the end, to the final days of the month. For example, in my case, <laughs> I haven't gotten paid since last month and they are like, it has been a week since I had to be paid, but I haven't. So um, it, it's hard for me making ends meet right now. Health insurance, do you know what is insurance? Yes. What is insurance? Seguros. Um, exactly. Yeah. Guys, it's, it's, it's seguros, but you know, the people who go to live in the United States, it's difficult sometimes because when you, they go there, they, I don't know, the language is different. For example, they don't say insurance is seguro. They say aseguranza. Like they don't say el pickup, they say la troca. They don't say, what else? I, I don't know. La yarda, el patio. Like they say something, some, some weird things like that. I don't know. It's like the, like the language is doing something through the, through the mind. Like, I don't know, it's weird. Okay, now what we're going to do is to uh, listen to the rest of the conversation, I'm guessing, and then we're gonna practice. Care. Colleges should provide so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What is Todd concerned about? Type your answers on our discussion box. Did you get the question? What is Todd concerned about? Do you know what is concerned? That's a yes or a no? Yes. No, okay. Concern is preocupado. What is he worried about? Concern about. That's like a synonym. Synonym, yeah. Concern and worried. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad but I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? It's not that. I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate, and now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So what are you going to do? Well. I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. Okay, so what is he worried about, Todd? What is the problem? You want to listen again? Yeah? Just that part, yes. not the whole conversation, just that part, but a specific part right there. 
your answers on our discussion box. Oh, listen to me. I'm always complaining, aren't I? Anyway, how are things with you? Oh, not bad. But I'm still not sure what I'm going to do after I graduate. Yeah, it's hard to find a job these days, isn't it? It's not that. I'm just not sure if going to law school was the right thing to do. What do you mean? I only have a few more months before I graduate, and now I'm wondering why I did this. I don't want to be a lawyer. It all seems like a waste of time now. So what are you going to do? Well, I'd like to move to Mexico and open a coffee shop, but I think my parents would flip. So what did Tom study? A liar. Liar? Like a pretty little liar? Or oh, lawyer? Mm. A lawyer. Lawyer. Well, <laughs> well, they are almost the same. They are liars and they are lawyers. <laughs> <laughs> right? Neither. It's not the same. Yeah, they sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. Sometimes they lie. A veces se miente, right? But no, it's lawyer. Yeah. <laughs> lawyer. <laughs> he studied, he studied to be he studied to be a lawyer. But does he want to be a lawyer? No. no. Okay, so he's concerned that he studied the grown thing, right? Yeah. That, that has happened to every one of us, I guess. Well, that happened to me. Still happens sometimes. I'm like, what did I do? I don't get it. Why? <laughs> but okay, next. Um, what does he want to do? What is what what he desires to do? Uh, he traveled to Mexico In? for um, for a, a for attend a coffee shop. The parents of parents. No, 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 no. no. You get the idea, but not completely. It is there. It is there. Um, Open the coffee shop. Open the coffee shop. Yes, Open he wants. And the parents. Do you think the parents are going to be happy about it? Mm, yes. Okay. Hmm? That person said, my parents will flip. Like, se van a ir de espalda. They don't agree. Oh. No, they, say the same <laughs> they don't agree on it. Maybe they are not going to be happy about it. Okay. Well, let's just have some time to practice a little bit really quick the conversation this is going to be it. this one i'm going to read it for you once health insurance child care bills rent now that i'm going to school and only working part-time wait i'm going to start again health insurance child care bills rent now that i'm going to school and only working part-time i have a hard time making ends meet Health insurance is really expensive, isn't it? Yeah, my company used to pay for it when I was working full time. And childcare isn't it cheap, is it? No, it's not. After I pay for rent and groceries, almost all my money goes to pay for my son's daycare. Colleges should provide free daycare for students with children. I think so too, but they don't have any services like that at my school. Okay, now what you have to do is to practice this conversation really quick. Do you have the screenshot? Yes. Perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay.
Hey, what happened? You didn't want to come to the main session. Okay, guys, we're going to leave it here. We're going to continue on what? Milton and Miguel Angel, you work together? Yes. Oh, I didn't realize that until today because I see your yes. uniform. Yes, the worker. Wow, your co workers. Okay, okay. Well, interesting. <laughs> okay, guys, I will see you tomorrow and then again only Thursday and we finish this module. Have a good okay. night. Good night, teacher. Good night, good night, good night. guys. Good night, teacher. Bye.